In this video, I'm gonna be telling you how to land your first help desk role with little to no experience. Believe me, I know how it feels to hate your current job or be a student and wanna land your first job in tech. I've worked in almost every industry you can think of, including warehouse, construction, fast food, retail. And even though I was able to graduate with a degree in information systems, I know a lot of people on my team who only have their high school diploma and we literally work the same role. So the first thing you wanna do is focus on getting a certification. Now there are multiple certs that you can go for, but I recommend that you get the CompTIA A plus if you have no background in IT at all. This is a great cert because it shows employers that you have a solid understanding of how to troubleshoot issues that you may face on that job. No matter how much you know about computers, if you lack education or experience, it can be really tough to land your interview. But certifications can help you stand out for everybody else that's applying for that job. And there are actually some employers who prefer certifications over degrees. After you get your cert, you want to focus on doing projects. Since help desk is mainly a support role, it can be kind of hard to find projects to put on your resume. So when applying to these jobs, look at the job description and see what kind of technologies they use. And then go to YouTube and look up the kind of projects you may face. After watching a couple YouTube videos, make sure you understand what's causing that problem and a way to prevent that problem in the future. And then you can go ahead and put that on your resume. And if an employer asks about it, go ahead and go into detail about everything that you've learned. When I was looking for my first job, the main two YouTube channels I was watching was Kev Tech IT and Kabu Man. I'll go ahead and put links to their channel in the description of this video. Next, you want to focus on networking. Nowadays, the job market is super competitive and there are people with years of experience applying to entry-level roles. If you find yourself mass applying to jobs and not getting a call back, you may have to take a different approach. You you can go on LinkedIn and reach out to the people of the company you applied to and ask them how they landed a job at that company and also what kind of questions to look out for on the interview. You'll be surprised at how many people will respond and give you information, also put in a good word for you. Also, you can see if there's any networking events going on in your area and try to connect with people in the industry to see how you can get your foot in the door. Next, you want to focus on your communication skills. Once you get your first IT support job, you soon realize that communication skills is just as important as technical skills. When troubleshooting, you may have to ask tons of questions to get a better understanding of what could be causing a problem. Also, the people you're working with may be non-technical and you may have to troubleshoot issues over the phone. So just knowing how to word solutions can help you solve a problem that much faster. Last but not least, you want to practice your interviewing skills. This is something I struggled with a lot when I was looking for my first job. I would do great during the basic questions, but when it came to the technical part of the interview, I would fill it every time because I didn't know how to really answer the questions. To prepare for these interviews, you can find articles on Google that will go over technical help desk questions you may face. But before my interviews, I would watch the Kev Tech and Couple Man videos where they go over questions and I would use their answers since I didn't really have much experience at the time. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. Always remember, no matter how hard it gets to land that first role, anything is possible. And if you're interested in getting your CompTIA Network Plus, check out my last video where I went into detail of the best resources to pass that exam. That's all for this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.